He was a soldier's soldier, decorated for bravery by the British government and respected by the men in his battalion. But war had taken its toll on him, and he felt a deep-seated resentment against his country's military campaign. His name was Siegfried Sassoon, and he came from the trenches of hell in World War I to fight another battle in the halls of government at home. I am making this statement as an act of willful defiance of military authority, because I believe that the war is being deliberately prolonged by those who have the power to end it. I am a soldier, convinced that I am acting on behalf of soldiers. He felt that the war was wholly wrong in every way and that it was his duty to speak out against it. His resentment of the war took the form of poems, searing indictments that ran counter to popular opinion. His poetry actually made people think about war in a totally different way. Nobody had presented war in the way that Sassoon did. Tomorrow night we trudge up to the trenches and my boots are rotten. Five miles of stodgy clay and freezing sludge and everything but wretchedness forgotten. He might be one of the best ways of introducing yourself to the, the sound, the sight, the smell, the fear, etc. of what war is really about. This is the story of how one man's poetry and his protest against World War I shined a light of truth on the subject of war and forever seared that conflict in the memory of his country.